we're going to hear. And there is no gentleman, Wally Hughes. Thank you. Every one of us has said sometime in our life, they're playing my song or our song. I am going to sing you your song, our song, the Star Spangled Banner. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last meeting? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the past. Wish you the best of luck tonight. And well, they slipped me a Mickey on this one, let me tell you. Oh, 
focus on you. Then I made a plan for myself with blue pants. No more crumbs, I vowed. I will have the cake. Yes, I went to the doctor. Got to take my late. And he told me what sort of a pill I should take. Now, amazing to see. is allowed.
I'm Kristana Loken. My latest film, Fighting for Freedom, that I produced and star in, will be screening at the Fairview Cinema 3. Much of Fighting for Freedom was shot on my family's own Love Apple Farm in Ghent. The East Coast movie premiere and party will jumpstart Fairview's campaign to obtain digital projectors. You will also be supporting your local theater. Fighting for Freedom will be screening at the Fairview Cinema 3. You've been real busy. I have been very busy, yes. We're very excited. Um, we finished Fighting for Freedom, um, which we shot on my parents' farm, uh, Love Apple Farm, on uh, 9H, uh, between Hudson and Kinderhook in Ghent. And uh, Fighting for Freedom is going to be premiering at the Fairview Cinema 3. They're ha having a gala event to support some new technology to implement into their theater sure. so it can keep going. Um, I have very many fond memories of going there as a child. So uh, Fighting for Freedom um, is inspired by actual events and it underscores a family of Mexican migrant workers who've lived and worked um, on a farm such as my parents uh, for a couple decades. They have three children. The two oldest were born in the States, so they're citizens, and the youngest was born on a trip back to Mexico when the father's mother was dying. So when the little girl at the age of two and a half re-enters the country, she faces deportation. Where is she going to go? She's two and a half years old. So my character is not only the farm owner's daughter, um, she's also become a high-powered D.C. attorney in Washington. And um, she ends up taking on the case of the immigrants and in doing so, reuniting with her own family that she's become estranged from. Wow. Yep, my father, Chris Loken, uh, wrote the story, probably started about five years ago. Um, so this is what you would definitely call a passion project um, that we've wanted to see through to the end. So we're very excited to have it back here um, from whence it, it all came. The, um, th this was originally had a, had a different working title. Yes, it was originally called Love Orchard, um, but uh, we've decided to go for Fighting for Freedom to help depict the struggle a little bit better. Um, I should also include that we were very excited to have Academy Award nominee Bruce Dern, who plays my father, um, and it was a real honor and pleasure to work with him. Yeah, we've been doing post-production, we've been doing the festival circuit, which has been very, very good for us. We won the uh, Audience Choice Award at the Green Bay Film Festival. We were featured at the Whistler Film Festival, um, at the Show Me Justice uh, Film Festival that highlights films that have to do with social awareness. Um, so it's been, a, it's been an interesting journey. Uh, as also a producer, I've been wearing many hats. I've learned a lot through the course of, uh, of this production. I had produced a couple other films in a TV series, but, but this is really uh, my baby, our baby. <laughs> America was built upon the concept of immigration, built by the hands of immigrants of every color, belief, culture. In the beginning, we turned back none. We needed them. We still do. You are raiding. No! She is a threat to the survival of this great nation as we know it and love it. Their minds were made up way before they were stepped in this courtroom. Say we take these bastards and they put them with every felony in the book. What do you want to do? Throw in the towel? I don't quit, ma'am. Never have and never will. Papa. You know that. Maybe we can use this hearing to ram down their throats a few facts of life. Please, if I go back to Mexico, I have no job. My family go hungry. Ask it, don't you get it? They used to want you and your family out there. That's why it was so easy for you to come and go. America doesn't want you anymore. It is our position that Angelina's constitutional rights have been abrogated. Her Your Honor, as an denied. illegal, she has no rights. She has human rights. And we're here to see that she gets them.
we have an amazing assortment of people, in not only ranging in age, but uh, the types of cameras used, um, skill levels, everybody from beginner to professionals. We have everything you can imagine here. It's just something I want to do. I just that's what I want to do with my life. No, I've been doing photography for about six, seven years now. How long have you been taking pictures? Uh, probably about fifty years now. <laughs> sixty years. <laughs> I first became involved until when my uh, my older brother started developing black and white pictures. And it fascinated me to see something come alive on the paper. And for years, uh, I followed through 35 millimeter uh, and, and uh, medium format. But then uh, the 8 millimeter film, came, uh, film cameras came on, and the excitement of seeing something move intrigued me. I, it was a present from my husband, and uh, I just I like taking pictures. I love looking at pictures. I love um, I love seeing things through a camera. Well, I've been taking pictures ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper with my little Kodak box camera. So I was probably about eight, something like that. And I still have some of the photographs I took then. I've got animals. I've got deer. I've got uh, action pictures. I, when I first started with the, my new Canon, I got my grandson swinging and hitting the ball and caught the ball on the bat which was unusual. I took lots of pictures of Madison Square Garden I'm a hockey nut. I even got pictures of uh, Messier when he had hair on his head during the hockey. <laughs> I actually was wandering around one day with my camera and just decided there has to be other crazy people out there that want to get together and possibly form a photo club and, and I just put the flyers up anywhere they'd let me, uh, grocery stores, post offices, and we had our first meeting late November of 2010 and it's just been rolling along ever since, it's been very good.
What have you learned? Um, to have a photo photographic eye and just always look at what would make a good picture. No matter where, if you're walking down the street, you're on a basketball game, wherever, driving down the road, even though that's dangerous. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's therapeutic. I think it's relaxing and, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's fun to get that creative, like, juice flowing, so. Uh, the technology, uh, one of the nicest things about uh, today is you can take a lot of pictures and erase all those uh, that aren't worth uh, printing and you can just get rid of them without uh, having a lot of cost involved with it. Enjoy shooting uh, events and colorful things where there's a lot of activity or you have choices where you can bring things out, isolate things and capturing uh, capturing the moments in there that, that are special that you can present something to uh, one of the persons that you're photographing and it brings a smile to their face and that keeps me going. It's, I like the community, it's, it's inspirational and I, I'm entering more shows and at least putting some work out there. But as the senior member here, what advice do you give anybody? If you always have a camera with you, ready to go. That's how I feel. Be prepared. I learned that from Boy Scouts. Have a camera and you get lots of ready shots. You never know. How do they get in touch with you guys? Uh, you can contact me. Uh, you can email me. at um, My email is abit, A-B-I-T, at mhcable.com. And just put join photo club in the subject box, otherwise it goes into my spam filter. Is there a Facebook page? Yes, there is. There's a Columbia County Photo Club Facebook page. Once you join the club, you can you will be allowed access to the Facebook page.